I can think back over the years of, of what drugs and alcohol gave me. It tore my life apart. I lost my father to about the age of four and a half. About the age of 12, I remember starting to experience alcohol. Getting into high school, that went to illicit drugs, cocaine, methamphetamine, and uh, it turned into a long-term addiction. About the age of 21, I got married and, and had my first son, and uh, I lost them due to my addictions. I had met my, my wife now, Dana, while I was in the Army through some friends of mine. We got married in 1998. I was still heavy into my addictions, and, and uh, it got worse and worse and worse, and things just got worse between me and my wife. And I ultimately was given a choice. Uh, either stop doing what you're doing or, or leave, and I chose to leave. I lived on the streets for about three years after that. I lived in my pickup, my little Dotson pickup, and uh, my alcoholism uh, turned into methamphetamine addiction, um, using a needle, and it got really bad. I was a filthy, filthy mess, uh, lice-ridden, living in a field. All this time, um, my wife Dana was uh, finding me where I was and trying to get me to come back home. I kept running into Darren on the streets and he, he would just look at me and I knew that he would still love me, but he just didn't want to come back home. It just broke my heart to see him and how he was living. I kept telling her the whole time I didn't know when I was going to come out of it, but sooner or later I would. But I couldn't expect her to wait around for me to change. I ended up hunting my wedding ring and I went to a divorce attorney. At that time, I had put Darren in God's hands. I asked her, is there any hope for us at all? And, and she said, yeah, I never wanted this to happen in the first place. So I said, well, I, it's time. She said, well, I got to see that to believe it. I went to uh, the Crossing Church, and I, because a friend of mine told me about it, to get clothes and have prayer. And, I knew that's when it was going to start to change. I, I told them, I, I can't leave. If I leave, I'm going to go right back to the streets. I'm going to do the same thing all over again. I spent uh, about nine months at the, uh, at the church. Um, classes and uh, doing security there. It was a lot of quality time that I spent with the Lord. And uh, talking to my wife on the phone at night and getting to know each other again. God was working on Darren and teaching Darren about himself and building a real relationship and it's just such a miracle. I've been clean now since November 1st, 05, coming up on two years. I kept trying to fill that black hole with drugs and alcohol to curb the, you know, the trials and tribulations of life that you, you gotta live. And um, now, I have God to fill that hole. Jesus Christ is everything to me. When we redid our vows on July 16th, it was so powerful because we made it real and we made it strong and it's now God's. It's God's marriage and so He can do whatever He wants to with our testimony and if God wants to take all of this and use it to glorify Him, then do it Lord. Just do whatever you need to do. God is been kind enough and merciful enough to give me back my life with my wife, my family. He's changed my life. He's changed my attitude. It's going to be a lifetime of restoration for me. But I stand righteous before my God because of my Lord Savior, Jesus Christ.